greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another taste test. Today, I'll be tasting space food, or specifically cosmonaut or Russian space food. <laughs> so my friend Gundog hooked me up with people from Food From Space, and they sent me this package. So a big thanks to Gundog and Food For Space for making this episode possible. If you miss my other space food tastings, I shall put the playlist up above. This tasting is going to be markedly different because these come in tubes. So the package came to me like this, and I love how efficiently they fit in here. So let's take these all out. There are six different tubes. These actually represent foods that some of the astronauts and cosmonauts had on the International Space Station and on Mir before 2000. I've never had space food in tube form before. So everything is written in Russian and is translated into English. So this here is pork with vegetables. This one is raznoni. This is cottage cheese with sea buckthorn puree. And this is borscht. And this is cottage cheese with black currant puree. And this is meat puree. So let's have this as two separate meals. We'll have the pork with vegetables with a side of soup and a little dessert. And we'll have the meat puree with the borscht and the cottage cheese. All right, so let's open the pork with vegetables first. So it says very clearly space food. And this is pork with vegetables. So I think this would be considered an entire meal, three tubes. And then you just open this as you would a tube of toothpaste. Puncture this side right here. This is the pork with vegetables. Wow. It looks and has the consistency of baby food. Kind of smells like a tube, but doesn't smell unpleasant. It smells just like a tin of soup. Priyatnovo appetita. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The textural sensation of having a paste injected into your mouth as a form of something consumable is not pleasant, but this is actually very tasty. It's so interesting that my natural instinct is to chew it even though it's in a paste. It does have a little bit of texture. It's a bit like really fine bits of meat kind of ground in there. It has a little bit of a tin flavor to it, but it tastes like something you would find in a soup. There's a little bit of tomato and some meat flavors in there, definitely some carrots, very tasty. And I mean that in a relative sense. I don't think I'd ever say, gosh, I really am craving a tube of pork and vegetables. But for what it is, it's actually pretty tasty. Surprised by that. So let's have our soup next. And this is Raznonik, and this is a pickled soup. This one has a different lid than this one. Interesting. Ooh, that looks unappetizing. That looks more gelatinous. Hmm. Very interesting. This one too has little bits of finely ground meat in there as well. It has a little bit of a pickly flavor to it. Almost like dill pickle, but no dill. So it's a little bit tart and not at all like a soup. It does feel a little bit like punishment because I don't have to chew at all. Isn't that funny? I don't have to do work yet I feel like I'm being punished. <laughs> hmm. This one tastes pretty good too, nicely seasoned. I do like the pork one better. And I think what's also strange about this is that the food is not warm at all. It's not even room temperature. It feels a little bit cooler than room temperature. Perhaps that's just psychological. So for my next round, I'm going to actually warm these up in some hot water and see if that makes a difference. And I'm going to put the meat puree and add some hot water to that. Let's try the cottage cheese with black currant puree. There's that. Ooh. Ooh. That one looks pretty grody. Okay, so as you can see, that has a very different consistency, but it doesn't smell unpleasant. It smells nice and fruity. Let's give that a go. All right, here we go. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. That felt unpleasant. But this one I think is my favorite. It tastes like a cream cheese spread with a little bit of yogurt. It's got a little bit of tanginess to it, a good fruit flavor, but not overpoweringly fruity, almost more like a fragrance, and a touch of sweetness, but not overly sweet. Great. What I don't like is how this has separated. Mostly what you get is very smooth, cheese-like kind of consistency, but then you get moments of like injected sweet fruitiness. So these, had a, so these have had a few minutes to warm up. And apparently on the space station, they would have special heaters to warm these up. 
but hot water works as well. This was the only package that came with a couple accessories. I think this is a wet nap. Yep. It smells like alcohol. Very, very tiny. It comes with a little mouthpiece. I like this idea. There's not a lot to kind of grip onto when you've got this little nub here. This one smells a lot like the pork stew. All right, so meat puree. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that looks very similar to the pork stew in color. The consistency is a little bit different. It looks like it's separated a bit. And I guess you just snap this onto here like this. All right, let's see if that's any better. Here we go. Hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's just separating the juice from the meat. All right. Mm. It's very similar to the pork stew. I just don't like the means of how that was just delivered. So I think this had a little bit of blockage, so I had to use a lot of pressure to kind of force some of this into my mouth. And it, it wasn't very pleasant because this is warm and it has kind of mushy ground up meat consistency. And when you just have it squirted into your mouth, it's, it's not that pleasant. So it's a textural thing, but taste-wise, it's pretty tasty. It tastes, again, like a canned soup, but meatier and richer, and it's full of veggie flavors. And also, heated up, it tastes much better as well. I was hoping that this little mouth adapter would make the experience more pleasant, but instead, it created more backup. The next one we have is the warmed-up borscht, which is a beet soup. Let's get, ooh. So yeah, much softer in consistency now that this has been warmed up. All right, let's give that a go. Mmm. Mmm. Much better warmed up. That's great. So this has a little bit soupier consistency. I was expecting the borscht to be bright red from the beets, but it's not. I like this one a lot. It has a little bit of tanginess, but yeah, heating it up makes a huge difference. And this is the last one. This is cottage cheese with sea buckthorn puree. Here has that one. Ooh. This one too is similar to the other cottage cheese one. It's very hard to get out looks pretty dry too, but it has a yellow color as opposed to the kind of purplish color. Okay, it smells great. Yeah, it smells almost like passion fruit. Mm. 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 This one is the only one I don't like. It has a nice tanginess, kind of yogurty, but much curdier than the other cottage cheese version. I really preferred the kind of smoothness of this. It felt more like a cheesecake. It has a little slight bitterness to it. Maybe that's from the sea buckthorn. All right, so that was Russian space food. Amazing. This, so these are all pureed, so they all essentially have the same consistency. And so this taste has, has me really appreciating texture, right? Crunch, slime, squelch, chew. You don't know what you have until you lose it, right? Thanks again, Gundog and Food for Space. I shall put their links down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you'd like me to taste or try. Don't forget to share this video. Follow me on social media. And yeah, show this video a little bit of love. And I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.